Hello and welcome back to Brad React. So, we're going to get into the Transformers Combiner Wars series proper today. Last time I did uh, all four of the preludes in one. I was looking up uh, I, was, well, I was looking up a couple of things. Uh, they did not get Peter Cullen to do the voice of Optimus Prime, which, you know, disappointing. Of course, it was obviously not Frank Welker as Megatron. I kind of noted that last time. Although apparently whoever was doing the uh, Optimus Prime one, I don't remember the name. I looked it up, but uh, apparently they must do a halfway decent Peter Cullen impression because it sounded enough like him that I wasn't sure. Um, anyway... Uh, I was also looking at the run times of the episodes. Uh, season 1 all seems to be floating around the 6 minute mark. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do uh, both, you know, two episodes at once on that. And then season 2, it seems to be floating more around 12 minutes. So I'll probably shift down to single episodes uh, when we get to that. But right now we're going to start in with season 1, episode 1. I've you know, got everything all queued up here. Let's just go ahead into it. I mean, I'm wearing my Starscream hoodie again. So, let's just go. Bam. A little loud in my ears, but I've got it turned down in the mixer again, so... Let's just see. Alright, what do we got? Can Caminus. Alright. Probably another, uh... Cybertronian world. Like a colony or something, I would assume. Alright. What do we got? Oh, okay. Oh, it was probably a uh, space bridge. Okay. So we got, is that Menasaur and... I can't tell who the other one is offhand. Yeah, I don't immediately recognize that one. Wait a minute. Oh, that's, uh... Oh! Um... I know who that is. It's another Decepticon one. It's the one that Starscream built. Um... Ooh! And he is losing parts. That's no good. Uh, the Combaticons. Whoever they form. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Bruticus! That's it. Oh, wait, no, it's Computron. Okay, I guess it wasn't who I thought it was then. Computron, okay. I haven't heard of him in a while. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Zero. What a nerd. Ooh. What do we have here? All right, there's Windblade. Work for me. Never was much of a talker. Hmm. They definitely went a different direction with Metasaur's voice. Hmm. That looked a little choppy. Hmm. All right. Your city can't hear you anymore. Your people are never coming back. We combiners are here to stay, and more are coming! And more are coming, huh? Maxima, what are you doing? What needs to be done? Alright, so somebody's about to sacrifice themselves to save her. You can kind of tell. I'm going to drink some coffee while watching this. There you go, you're just offline. Oh. And this is for Maxima. Okay, well, down goes Menasaur. You still have the Decepticon symbol. Liar. What? You said for Caminus and Maxima. We both know that's not true. <laughs> Calling her out. You're just a killer, like me. But you can't kill us all. The council? 
have the enigma of combination. Ooh, really? Build an army of combiners. They would never dare. Hmm. Okay. Computron, man. That's one I haven't thought about in a long time. Can't even think of what team that was offhand. Probably why I didn't recognize them right away and confused them. I just saw all the military vehicles and you know that were part of them and thought it was Bruticus. All right. Here we go. Now I'm wondering why the combiners dying didn't just end up splitting into their parts minus whoever took the most damage. Kind of an oversight to my view. Because that's what normally would have... Ooh. Okay, that's Computron not quite dead yet. Alright, what do we got going on here? Ooh. Alright. Space Bridge to Cybertron. Ooh, Optimus. Alright, Optimus. What do you got for us? Oh, and that's the end of the episode. Alright. Well, let's kill that. Well, I guess the next time we'll see Optimus. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead. Let's take... So, interesting. Uh, obviously, Computron... Probably not going to actually survive, but has managed to get a signal out of some sort. Um, Optimus is probably going to respond to it. So it's looking... I'm still not sure if Windblade is going to be a protagonist or an antagonist. Because it's still a little early to see where the series is going. I mean, obviously, Menasaur was, you know, a bad guy. I mean, always had been. Um... But that doesn't necessarily... But I, it sounds like he had an in on the council, probably via Starscream. Don't know. Don't know. Still, it's still too early to tell which direction this is going. So let's go ahead and kill this window, and I will queue up the next one. All right. We have the next one all queued up. Uh, you know, I should really look at the titles of these before I do this. Oh, well. I guess we'll find out, you know, in a bit. All right. Let's just go ahead and roll into episode two. Bam. Here we go. Prime Wars Trilogy. Still geeked. Still a bit geeked. Especially since we're supposed to get supposedly gonna get Optimus this time. If the teaser from the last episode is anything to go by. Alright. We got the asteroid belt, nebulas. Alright, showing off space. That Okay, that's Cybertron. Huh. A little different than it normally looks, but it's got its two moons, so... Wait, it has two moons. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna let that go for the moment. Alright, what do we got? Is that Starscream? That looks like Starscream to me. Yeah, that's Starscream. He still has the Decepticon symbols on him. Drink some coffee. Alright. I'm guessing he's going to the council chamber, since he's apparently a member of the council these days. He needs a cape and crown. <laughs> I could really use that figure. You know, I want, that's one of those ones I want. That one that's the, you know, coronation Starscream. Okay. Out of control, yeah. Well, tch. hmm. Peace between Autobots and Decepticons is already fragile. The combiners could ruin everything unless we stay calm. Calm? This is a time for action, Starscream. Not all of them are a threat. Okay. I mean, fair point. We could try to control them all. 
Ooh, that probably not a good idea. Alright. Maintaining. Okay. <laughs> billions. Oh, exile. Okay. I thought they just kind of. I thought that Optimus just kind of retired. Ooh. Wow. That's an even worse option. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that. Those were different times, mistress. Fair enough. Starscream as the good guy. Still weird. Alright, who's been spying? Ah, Windblade. It's definitely seeming more like she's going to be a villainous and villainous protagonist. Like we're gonna follow her and her exploits, but she's definitely not a good guy. Ooh. Yeah, that's weird looking. All right. Oh, you're probably going to try and shoot it. Oh. In the meantime, I can have wheel jacks. Oh. Starscream. That's a rather delayed reaction. A little slow on the uptake, uh, Rodimus. Alright, so who knocked off Windblade shot? Probably Optimus, it looked like. It looked like his hand. Oh. Show yourself. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking a bit rough there still, too. Wow. This is gonna be the end of the episode, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Such teases! Uh, all right, so let me kill that window again. All right, so that's an interesting start. Like I said, it looks looking like Windblade is going to be a villainous protagonist. We're going to be following her, it looks like. Um, but she's definitely not on the side of angels. Then again, the Mistress of Flame and Rodimus Prime have some fairly bad ideas. And it's interesting that Starscream was the voice of reason there. But of course, now he's injured, so it's going to kick everything off, since he's probably not going to be available to, you know, rein in the others. Very interesting that they have chosen Starscream for the role of, like, the level-headed good guy. I mean, I can see how he could theoretically get there, I just wasn't really expecting it totally, you know? Anyway... Uh, that, that'll do it for this one. Um, next time we'll do three and four. And there's only, what, like 12 episodes, something like that? I can actually check. I can, I can look and see. Uh, there are eight. There are eight episodes in season one. So we'll do this in, like, four episodes and then move on to the next season, which has more. Yeah, that one has ten. Okay. Okay. Um, so that was, let's see, the first one was The Fall, the second one was The Council. So those are the episode titles. Said I would look those up. Anyway, like I said, that's going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>